everyone to U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. It's the second quarter of play, and it's the Jags in possession of the ball. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They had not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. To try again after the sack, Lawrence. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Now Lawrence. Well, that's the third interception for Lawrence. Picked by the linebacker, Brian Asamoah. And the Vikings are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Well, there are several factors at play for why they face this deficit right now, Charles, but well, that's now three interceptions that he has thrown and just giving the football away pretty careless here in the opening half. Yeah, I know that all of our parents taught us to share as youngsters, but in this game, you don't want to share with the other team. Keep it for yourself. Keep it for your team. Got to cut down on all of those throws, those errant passes, if they hope to get back into this game. Off the bootleg, Dawson. This one caught, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now, and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And a dangerous Vikings will send out the special teams crew here for a field goal try. This one from 46 yards out. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And the route is on. It's 24 to nothing. So the defense are able to force the interception and the offense working their way to field goal range and able to get three out of it. Yeah, and give them credit for that. They took the ball, maneuvered it downfield, and while they couldn't get exactly what they wanted, which was a touchdown, they did get three points out of it. So they paid off what the defense gave them. Both sides would be thrilled with that. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. On second and 11 now, Lawrence being chased. Lawrence hit and the ball is free. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. He's got a man complete. They'll get 34 yards there. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. On first down, Lawrence. 
Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Play action. It's Lawrence. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. They'll try and run for him, and it's out. He put it on the carpet, and this belongs to the Vikings. Guys on their squad that they look to as drive stoppers, guys who can make big plays, interceptions, knock it free. In this case, they didn't need one. The offense supplied it for them, just dropping the ball. Yeah, and that was after they were doing so well on this drive through the air. They go to the ground, doesn't work. 104 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Back to throw. Dawson. Wide open receiver complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Two touchdowns for him already in this first half. This one good for a first down. Inside handoff, Henry. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? He's up to 70 yards now in this first half receiving as he's got a first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Hines. Touchdown, Vikings! A big play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Vikings are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And the route is on here in this first half. So that drive spanned five plays. And it all culminates in a touchdown for Minnesota. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback. And they'll begin at the 25. This offense gets set for a new series. We take a look at LaVisca Chenault leading him out. And CD, assuming he stays healthy, assuming the health, should get to that 1,000-yard mark pretty easily. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. A first-down carry for Henry. Yeah, he's going to get a solid game. Last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. The Vikings on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Well, they're currently the best in the NFL in converting on third down, so it was no surprise there that they picked that one up. And they've done it in many different ways throughout the season, Charles. Picking it up, running it, throwing it, just effective on third downs all year long. And it's caught. Touchdown. Justin Jefferson, his second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the Vikings are pouring it on. Extra point attempt to follow here. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive, four plays. And it was all capped off by Justin Jefferson's touchdown reception. And he'll elect not 
to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Now Lawrence on first down, fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. But to throw again is Lawrence. And he's just throwing the ball up for grabs now. Fortunately, that one going to fall incomplete. And he comes back with one complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 29-yard line. Here's Lawrence to throw. This is caught. It's Brown. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now Lawrence to throw. Right there, Chenault for the Jacksonville touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Elliott good on the extra point, and they get a big...